no matter what the content is, you should be able to problem solve with the content. You know, I always tease students and because you know they're, they're so used to coming in and they've memorized, you know, the phone book. I said, look, you don't have the hippocampus of a songbird in spring. You know, yeah. this is not going to work for very long. <laughs> you're gonna come in and you're gonna have a data dump and that's the end of it. And then you're gonna get to the upper division course and what's your problem? You forgot it all and now you need it. Um, and then you don't do well in the upper division course. You know, oh, but I got an A. Well, no, you memorized it, you know. So we're trying to stop that. Um, and some students, it just relights up their, um, their whole interest in science in the first place. You know, they come and say, you know, because science is not a technical craft. It uses technical tools at times, but it's inductive, it's creative. It's what it is, it's why it works the way it does. And students come in and say, wow, this is what I thought science was. It is, <laughs> don't anyone tell you it's not. Um, and they come in and they, they, it, just, it just lights up, you know, how they thought about the whole world.